Yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Uh, I'm going to be coming at you guys with a bunch of voiceovers for the next two weeks. I've actually come back home. I live about 200 and odd miles away from my hometown. So I've come back home to spend time with my family for Easter. And now that Easter is over, in about two more days, I'm going to actually be going away on holiday to Turkey. So I'm going to be in Turkey for the next two weeks as well. So I'm going to try and keep to the constant upload schedule that I have been doing for the past two weeks. I'm really proud of myself. Everybody has to clap. Please clap. And um, <laughs> obviously now that I've got a upload schedule for you guys now, um, I am going to be recording whilst I'm in Turkey, but they will all be voiceovers as I don't really want to do the whole makeup and filming and all that kind of stuff when I should be barefoot pregnant and relaxing on a beach somewhere in Turkey, bitch. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Daisy Marquez. It's a relatively old story, but a lot of people wanted to hear my opinion. If you're not aware, sickle cell anemia is very prevalent within the POC community. So a lot of people wanted to hear my thoughts and opinions on what it is that she's done recently. So I'll be giving you a brief recap if you're not in the know of what happened with Daisy Marquez. And yeah, so let's get straight into it after this intro. Most of these bitches is Okay, so Daisy Marquez has found herself in a little bit of controversy recently where she allegedly pretended to have sickle cell anemia in order for her to have some time off social media so that she could go and get herself a Brazilian butt lift. This is all alleged. However, it is looking like this information might be true. Anyway, before we get into all of that, all of the drama, what's been said, the receipts to prove so, uh, I'm going to be breaking down who Daisy Marquez is for you in 60 seconds seconds. Daisy Marquez is a 21 year old YouTuber who was born in San Luis Potosi, Mexico, lived in Dallas, Texas as a child, but now lives in California. She is a self taught makeup artist and she has amassed over 1.2 million subscribers on her YouTube channel, gaining 100,000 within two months. She also has 1.2 million followers on her Instagram. Her YouTube channel mostly focuses on makeup, with her most popular video being The Boyfriend Does does my makeup tag closely followed by I'm being haunted not clickbait she calls her viewers and followers her flowers and she made a video on her YouTube channel on her experiences as an undocumented immigrant and dreamer for those of you who aren't aware a dreamer is somebody who was illegally brought into the United States as a minor and who would qualify for resident status under the dream act she has a younger sister called Destiny Marquez who is also a social media influencer with over 600,000 followers on Instagram and she released an eyeshadow palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics called the Daisy Marquez palette. Yes, a lot of thought went into that name. Okay, so now that we've found out who the hell this crazy bitch is, let's get straight into the drama. So the drama is on the 29th of March, Salty Touch posted a picture on Instagram with the caption talking about how she used to be best friends with somebody who claimed to have sickle cell anemia and that was the reason she was MIA. But the truth was that she was recovering from a Brazilian butt lift. A Brazilian butt lift is a specialized fat transfer procedure that augments the size and shape of the buttocks without implants. Excess fat is removed from the hips, the abdominum, the lower back, thighs with the liposuction and a portion of this fat is then strategically injected into the buttocks. You're wondering how I know all of this about a Brazilian butt lift. I most definitely have looked into getting a Brazilian butt lift. Hey, listen, don't hate, okay? One of the first things I lost when I lost all this stupid fucking weight was I lost my bum and it doesn't exist anymore. So I want my boobs lifted, my tummy tucked and my butt lifted also. Don't hate on the game, bitch. Anyway, so this is what Salty Touch, the ex-friend of Daisy Marquez, had to say. She said, y'all, I literally used to have a friend who used to lie 24 seven and even lied about having sickle cell anemia. And that was the reason she was MIA for a while. But she really got a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift and needed off time to heal, crying emoji. I'm going on a rant on Twitter right now. And whilst I'm sitting in my Uber on the way home if you don't know what sickle cell anemia is people literally have died from it there's no way to justify that 
If you're in your feelings about me speaking about something that I thought was sick, then you're just as sick. Sick emoji. So yeah, homegirl literally just outed her ex-best friend. And it reminds me of this situation, right? I used to go to high school with this girl who was like a persistent liar. She used to turn around and tell everybody that she was a princess of India. And we were like, okay, your royal highness, the fuck? And then also there was this whole situation where she basically in year nine, she told everybody that she was like going and leaving the school. And like, we had like a leaver ceremony for her. Um, and and all this kind of stuff and like people were giving her gifts when she was leaving and like literally it turns out she was never leaving and her parents had no idea what she was talking about and she ended up showing up like the next day to school it was just so funny but sometimes there was just people in life who just literally lie about anything for no goddamn reason and I think she might be one of those bitches at least according to her friend Anyway, so moving on, on the 4th of April, a Twitter user called Shells tweeted, the fact that Daisy Marquez claimed that she went MIA for a bit because she had sickle cell anemia, but turned out to be a lie. She actually went and got a Brazilian butt lift and needed time off to fully heal before bouncing back to social media. People die from sickle cell anemia, Marquez. On the 9th of April, she tweeted, Update, remember when she put out a video, I have something to tell you, about when she had sickle cell anemia? The video is no longer on her channel. She then went on to post a screen recording of her flicking through Google and showing that all tweets in relation to Daisy Marquez having sickle cell anemia have also been deleted from Twitter. So it seems as if Daisy was trying to clean up all of her mess. In fact, she then went on to find a screenshot of the original video to prove the original video where she speaks about her sickle cell is deleted also as that can't be found on her channel so all of this pretty much boils down to the fact that salty touch had posted up about a lying ass friend and people put two and two together as they began to realize that salty touch and daisy marquez were not hanging out with each other not nearly half as much as they used to so when she put up the trigger sentence of sickle cell anemia a lot of people put two and two together and worked that out if you search online for Daisy Marquez's tweets, any tweets that are in relation to sickle cell anemia, you can find them on Google, but when you click on the Google link, which is what she demonstrated, Shells had demonstrated that earlier, it brings up that this tweet is now deleted, which means that there is a link for it. There is definitely a hyperlink for it. However, it leads to nowhere because the user themselves have deleted the tweet. So it's obvious that she is trying to cover up her tracks and get rid of any evidence that she claimed to have sickle cell anemia. But does she actually know how the internet works? Surely somebody whose job is to know social media knows that once something is out on the internet, it's out there forever. A girl had beef with me, she gonna have beef with me forever. Okay, so a lot of you are probably wondering, if you're not in the know, Petty Page, what the fuck is sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia is a disease which occurs when a person inherits an abnormal hemoglobin genes from each of their parents. The hemoglobin, which is the oxygen carrying protein in blood, is a rigid and sickle or crescent moon shaped instead of a flat disc. This means that the hemoglobin cannot carry as much oxygen around the body like in a normal healthy person, causing people to feel very tired and it can also cause severe problems such as strokes or even death when the sickle shaped cells can get stuck in small capillaries and cause blockage. A lot of people with sickle cell anemia deal with severe chronic pain, especially when they get older. People with the disease have a much lower life expectancy. About 90% of people survive to age 20 and close to 50% survive beyond age 50. In 2002, according to one study performed in Jamaica, the estimated mean survival of people with sickle cell was 53 years old for men and 58 years old for women. Three quarters of of sickle cell anemia cases occur in sub-Saharan Africa and the number of people with the disease in the United States is approximately one in 5,000, mostly affecting African Americans of the sub-Saharan African descent. According to the National Institutes of Health in the United States, about one out of 500 African American children and in one out of every 36,000 Hispanic American children have sickle cell anemia. 
Daisy is Hispanic slash Latina. So it's quite obvious that it's much rarer for her to have sickle cell anemia, but not entirely impossible. However, within the black community, we all have, there's a lot of people who have sickle cell anemia. Like, I go by the notion of literally every black person knows another black person who has had sickle cell anemia or who has passed away because of the symptoms surrounding sickle cell anemia. For instance, a very well-known YouTuber, Lovely T. She is a celebrity gossip blogger and commentary channel on here on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to her, I definitely suggest it. I love her content so much. I never miss a video. She also suffers with sickle cell and she sometimes has to take long, large portions of time away from YouTube and even just doing regular things like taking a kid to school and all of that malarkey because of her sickle cell anemia. So it is something that affects a lot of black people people, particularly African-American people or black British people, like I said, who are from sub-Saharan African descent. So having a Brazilian butt lift is entirely different to having sickle cell anemia. Instead of having a deadly disease that can cause severe daily pain and exhaustion, a Brazilian butt lift is a specialized fat transfer procedure that augments the size and shape of the buttocks without implants. Excess fat is removed from the hips and in the abdominum and the lower back or thighs with liposuction and a portion of this fat is then strategically injected into the buttocks. So I can't think why this crazy bitch got the two mixed up. <laughs> a chronic illness slash disease and a cosmetic procedure. Make that shit make sense, bitch. Sickle cell anemia actually affects various different people in various different ways. For instance, there are some people who live long and healthy lives with sickle cell anemia and can take a few weeks off work and then be back at it and live perfectly fine for the rest of their lives. There are other people who have sickle cell anemia who constantly need time off to deal with their chronic illness slash pain. So sickle cell anemia, I think, is what she decided to go with because it would make sense for why she took a short period of time off, but then is perfectly fine for a long period of time. You know, I mean, I think she decided, oh, this is the perfect illness for me to pretend that I have so that I can take the designated time needed to be away from social media without anybody asking me any questions when I come back with a big old fat ass. To be honest, how she thought that she could pretend to have something so serious and never be found out is beyond me. Has she never heard of drama channels? <laughs> Was she going to blame the swelling of her ass down to sickle cell anemia too? Well, why not just be honest? Like nobody cares if you get work done. Like literally everybody gets work done on social media. For instance, it is no secret that Amra, as in Amrezy, has had work done. Nobody cares, she looks fierce. You better live, bitch, you better work. And if you do decide to get work done, I think that now in social media, people are a lot more supportive for personal choice. And people would be much more supportive of you saying that you made a personal choice to augment your body in a way that made you happy than for you to turn around and lie about having sickle cell anemia because this is not a disease to be taken lightly. This is a disease that literally kills millions and millions and millions of people. At this point, there's no doubt that she claimed that she had sickle cell anemia at some point because all of the receipts point to the fact that she definitely did say that she had sickle cell anemia at once. One point. You can see the screenshots from Google, the fact that she deleted those tweets, just screams that I lied about this entire situation to get away with what I personally wanted. And using a disease and illness that millions of people die from all the time for your own personal game is just sick. For me, it's the equivalent of somebody saying, oh yeah, I've had to take some time off because I've had to go through chemotherapy. And then everyone's like, oh my God, are you okay? We're praying for you. We love you so much gosh you're such an inspiration to other people who are going through cancer right now like this is like the same as lying about cancer to me because it, it, it can have the same kind of repercussions life expectancy goes down all of that malarkey so I just can't understand why she thought it was acceptable or why she thought that she would get away with it or why she didn't even think about people within her own community within the Latino slash Hispanic community 
who go through this all the time that she thought that it was okay. Like, oh yeah, I'll just say I had this. It makes perfect sense. Maybe she was going to use it as a get out of jail free card for her to use when she had any other cosmetic procedures. I don't know. It's just a really sick and twisted thing to do and not something that I would think that you would inherently think of when saying I need to take time off. And this is not the first time that Daisy Marquez has found herself in a little bit of controversy. In fact, um, this time last year, I think it's September last year, she was allegedly found on cheating on Manny MUA's brother who she was dating at the time with Tiger the rapper. There is a video of Daisy's friends talking about how Daisy had cheated on her boyfriend with Tiger and that she knew about it and about how Daisy and Manny's brother Nick Gutierrez have now broken up. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Shelby, um, I hope you're watching this. You know that uh, one of your friends is cheating on uh, her boyfriend um, with Tyga, or at least did on her boyfriend. I don't know if they're still doing it because, you know, we broke up. But uh, why don't you tell him, you know, because that's your friend too, right? Yeah, I was talking about Daisy's new boyfriend, BT Dubs, so... Um, as you can see here in this clip, uh, it shows clips from Daisy's Snapchat and from Tiger's Snapchat that proves that Daisy was at least in Tiger's home at this point. When all of this came out, apparently Daisy had checked herself out into a hospital with depression and anxiety and was on suicide watch. Um, Twitter user Shells, who has been watching this, keeping her foot on Daisy's goddamn neck, <laughs> Uh, claims that the tweet that Daisy's sister, Destiny, had talked about, which was Daisy being on suicide watch, has now been deleted on social media too. Which may prove that she wasn't actually on suicide watch and she was actually using suicide watch and mental health and mental illness as a get out of jail free card to gain sympathy so that people wouldn't be too hard on her for cheating on her boyfriend. Obviously, that is a rumour and just speculation, but... After the alleged lies that she's told about having sickle cell anemia, at this point, uh, it's not something that I'd put past her. Because if she's got no problem lying about having sickle cell anemia to hide the fact that she was having work done, then I really wouldn't put it past her to claim that she was suicidal to get away with bad behaviour. It's incredibly manipulative behaviour and honestly, it just makes her look like a terrible person. Certainly a lot worse than having a Brazilian butt lift and cheating. IMO. I wonder what disease slash mental health problem slash mental health crisis she's going to have to get out of this mess. Breaking news, beauty guru Daisy Marquez just tweeted that her head has fallen off and therefore she cannot take any responsibility for any of her past actions because we all have to feel sorry for her now. Dun dun dun. <laughs> To add insult to the injury of the POC community that she has decided to latch onto for a really special disease, she has also been one of the most recent beauty gurus who have been found using the N-word. This came out quite a few months ago. I was sent this information a long, long time ago, but I never did anything about it because we were going through Armageddon and we were pretty much focusing on the other YouTubers at this point. But as you can see here, there is a lot of screenshots of Daisy Marquez saying the N-word. Uh, dated back as far as 2013. Now, y'all know my opinions on saying the N-word if you are not a black person, as in somebody of African descent. If it has an A in it, if it has an E-R, there is no differentiation for me. I don't care. It's not yours. Do not use it. Do not say it. I can say it. My word, reclaiming it. Y'all can't say it. Just my two cents. But yeah, I think as a character reference, it just kind of goes to show the kind of person it is that we're dealing with in my opinion. So in conclusion, it seems like Daisy Marquez, to me, is a lying, manipulative, piece of shit asshole. to be quite honest. Someone who lies about having a serious, deadly illness, who cheats on their boyfriend, who uses their N-word and probably lied about being suicidal is probably not a good person at all. I wouldn't be surprised if the story told about her being an undocumented immigrant and visiting Mexico as a child before having to sneak back into the US in her very big story was a lie or heavily embellished too. Maybe, I don't know. But it definitely makes me give her the side eye. 
But that's my whole two cents on the whole Daisy Marquez situation. Take and make of that what you will. But I thought I'd give my two cents and maybe give a little bit more of a historical background on sickle cell anemia because I know a lot of people uh, wanted to hear my two cents as a person of colour. And to be honest, the only drama channel that I've actually seen take on this story is Dustin Daly. And he did a tremendous job. And I'll definitely link his video down below so that you guys can see his video too, uh, sharing his thoughts and opinions on the entire situation uh, about a week ago. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like it, if you don't, I don't give a shit anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification with the bell so that you guys get a notification every single time that Petty Page posts new content. In my personal opinion, I am going to rename Daisy Marquez Bussy Booty Bitch. And the reason I'm calling her a bussy booty bitch is because she had a Brazilian butt lift. She was too pussy to be honest about it. And she is a whole ass bitch from what I'm getting from social media. But that is just my humble opinion. And don't take my opinion for it because I'm just petty. See you in the next video, guys. Bye. Petty, petty. Most of these bitches is petty.